Hey guys, my name is Stefan Bond is cool. It's Splatfest. Let's go. It's gonna be so exciting guys And because it's Splatfest and because you guys told me to I will be using the 10th umbrella for a few rounds <laughs> now, I know some of you guys might be in despair, especially if you're on team suite like me. Steph, no, don't use the 10th umbrella It's so bad. Ah, uh, your boy mained it. Back in Splatoon 2, baby. Let's go <laughs> Uh, so we'll be giving it a shot here. It looks like I got a squid beacon, which is a classic fantastic uh, uh, sub, which hey guys um, Lean in close Closer Closer Use the beacons <laughs> I remember that was my biggest issue actually when it came to uh, Playing the Splatbrella in the last game. No one ever used my goddamn beacons. So I ended up switching over to the one that had two, uh, that had the splat wall as well, because like it was just like it, 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 people used it more. This all this will also be my first time using the ink vac, so I'm pretty excited about that actually. Um, so I say, hey, let's get on to it and see what we got. I'm hoping people could like join in on random. That'd be really cool. I'm really, I'm really hoping that people would just kind of join in on random. But yesterday it didn't work. Uh, so I'm hoping it'll work today. Also did 400 damage? God damn, all right. How big is the range on this thing? So I guess quite a bit of ink. Still not a horrible painter, honestly. I mean, the Splat Bell was never a horrible painter. Or at least uh, the Tenth Bell was never a horrible painter, but like it has its limitations, obviously. It goes straight up, furls low at the end. Um, but yeah. I actually won my first times 10 battle for this, for this Splatfest yesterday. And it was honestly a pretty good win. We had a lot of people over here. Uh, if you guys are seeing uh, this video, I hope you had a fantastic time with Splatfest and kicked as much butt as you could. Uh, oh, we have a lot of new people, maybe? That's no bueno. All right, it's fine. New people come in. Hell yeah, let's get you new people in and uh, excited to continue playing, you know what I'm saying? That's my opinion. Get ready to kick ass and get your ass kicked, new people. That's how we do things here. Oh my god, it still blocks Booyah Bombs. Let's go. This is why I love the Splat Brella. Splat Brella is the ultimate bit of defense. Just like screw with that guy a little bit for funsies. <laughs> that was really funny, actually. I know that was kind of mean, but that was really funny, actually. That was kind of mean, but it was really funny. <laughs> the ink back is funny. Oh my god. That is a surprising level of offense you could do with this weapon, honestly. I did not expect so much offense from the Tenth Umbrella. Can I be honest? That was really funny. It's very situational. But, like, it's really funny. I mean, I want Inkwall on this sucker again. Like, I think Inkwall is the best. If you really want to go heavy defense, like, it's the best. It's so good.
Yeah, we won. All right, these guys, these guys know exactly what they're doing. They are devious little suckers. I thought they're like, okay, they might be new players. That's awesome. No, they are devious little suckers dressed as new players. I love it. Let's go, baby. <laughs> oh, that's great. Are they all friends? Because they're all wearing witch hats. I think they're all friends. I think they're all friends because they're all wearing witch hats. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they just left to go get a four friend of theirs at this point. By the way, guys, out of curiosity, how are you enjoying this Splatfest? Are you seeing a lot of each team? Because I'll tell you something. I thought I was going to see a lot less Team Sour. I've seen a surprising amount of Team Sour, which I'm really cool about. Like, like yeah, I want to see more Team Sour. Uh, I thought they were good. I thought I legitimately thought they would be like kind of left in the ditches because I didn't think if you guys saw we have a poll on our channel and most people voted for Team Sweet and Team Spicy, which is exactly how I thought it would go. Um, but that's quite a range. All right, so it's damage and whip. All right. Um, so I was like, you know, I thought sour wouldn't have many people, which was a little sadgers. But it looks like I'm getting pretty equal spicy sour and once in a while a a, a sweet uh mirror 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 match. But I hate those because the, the colors just like break my eyeballs in half. They're horrible. They are absolutely horrible. No, not this. No, not this. Okay, no, this color's better. Never mind. I was really worried because like they have this like really bad purple color that's I destroying. And I'm like, fuck that. You have one ink saver on here, 100%. I, I'm not getting as much shots as I want to get down. Oh god, I had to go further? Damn it. Okay, so ink pack you can't just shoot the ink, ink, ink pack the ink sucker pack thing. The vacuum the ink vac. You can't just shoot halfway through. You need to get a full thing. Okay. So basically it's not a char it's not a race to see how much you could get. It's a race to see how fast you can charge it. Oh, is that another tenor umbrella? Let's go. Love seeing another Tenebrella. Tenebrella, what's that? It's, it's an old main of mine. I love it. I don't know if that's... Oh yeah, okay. It looks like I still shoot off as long as I get... Ah! Slow recovery on the shield. Keep forgetting that. Alright, we're good though. I think we'll grab this one. They might push back though. They pushed really hard at the start, so I'm a little worried about them, honestly. But I got lucky with this team. I'm not gonna lie, they are. This team is killer. I'm giving like the wins to this team, not to me. Ah, I should have got the ink back out. Damn it. Oh, they pushed a lot. They pushed a lot of that very end. That's a little scary. I, I think we got it, but they pushed a lot at the very end. They did good on that push. 
Blue team did really good on that push. Good job, guys. Team Sweet, we both got it. I'm, I'm happy with that. I So I'll say this. From my 10 umbrella experience back in Splatoon 2, I think the main purpose of the 10 umbrella is really to help provide a path and movement for your team. Like, you're not here to get kills. You're here to get maybe a couple of few assists here and there, but you're here to provide cover, right? And that's not something that is so clearly defined in Splatoon. Like, if people are moving forward, you are here to provide a little bit of cover, get your thing out, and get going. Like, you're not here to really get a lot of splash. You will get a couple if you're good at it. I'm not. But as a 10 umbrella, my personal opinion is that you're here to help get, uh, get people moving. Uh, and as people get moving, you are able to help them get their goals done. You're you're a huge support weapon. But god, if I had this good of a name in the game, I'd be I'd be loving it. I wish I had that good of a name in game. I really did. Alright, let's see how these guys are. We're going up against Team Sour, baby. Let's go. We got a pretty wild and balanced team, actually. Let's go. I actually quite like the Nova. I know some people are a little iffy about it, and I can see why. I like it, though. You need a lot of ink saver on this sucker. Oh, they had two DCs on their team. Rip, rip, Team Sour. I'm sorry to hear that, buds. But see, like, that exact moment you saw there for a second, where I was giving this guy the ability to move forward safely, they were able to back up uh, after kind of, like, a surprise... Uh, not surprise, but after, like, a more sudden recognition that there were people next to us uh, coming up from the center. Like, that was provided by the Brella. That, that, that moment of reprieve was provided by the Brella. So, like, it's, it's a good weapon if you're willing to do the weird, do the weird bits of it. Ooh, let's go. So, also, getting more ink means you will do a greater radius, it feels like. It's not a bad choice. It's not a bad sub. It's not a bad ult for a Tenebrella, or at least the purpose of a Tenebrella, which is to defend and then send back. Like that's what this that's what this special does. That's what the special literally does. It defends by sucking up the ink and then it pushes back because oh shit, this person has so much ink now. Oh, not another one. Oh well. Yo, we got Cam on our team. They've done a, they've won a times 100. Let's go. Good on you, Cam. Good on you, Cam. God, this is the color I hate. This is the f color I hate. It literally hurts my eyes. Nintendo, what in Christ's name have you made here? Like, are you literally trying to make my stigmatism worse? <laughs> Swear to God, Nintendo. <laughs> now watch what I can do, right? I can just push him back, basically. Let's go! Oh my god, this ton of this ton of umbrella weapon is I got a triple baby! Let's go! I'm saving that one. <laughs> oh baby, a triple! 
Now, I love the bubbles with the umbrella back in the day. I did. But this is definitely the right option. 100%. This is definitely the right option. This, the, the ink vac works so well with the umbrella. Uh, oh my God, are you kidding me? Shoot a little behind everyone, that way when they try to run away inevitably, they do get hit. Got quite a range on here too, which is nice. Got quite a range on here. That's nice. Oh, they got me. The bell did not come up fast enough. That's going to happen. That's going to happen. Use the beacons. Tip one, whenever you see beacons, use them. I know I kind of put them at the same size. So I should probably should have spread them out a bit more, but we got that one. That was really good. And I think that really showed off a lot of how 10 umbrella can really work. Like overall splatter, that's bullshit. I got overall splatter, are you kidding me? That's wild. The ink vac is great, the ink vac is great. I have respect for the ink vac. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Four splatters, that shouldn't be overall splatter. Let's go. This is a good team. This is a good team. This is a good team. I'm hoping for a uh, times 10 or a times 100 battle because I've, I've never won a times 100 battle. I've done one times 100 battle. I want to see if I could do another one. Like I really, I really want to like. God, I kind of missed the 10 umbrella now. Like, have I been cheating on the 10 umbrella this whole time with the tri stringer? Yeah, but still. That's a nice distance. So how far can I get? So from a very far distance, you're doing like a third damage. So kind of like a tri-stringer already. I realized like every weapon I have is a little tri-stringer S. Like you're getting partial damage at the actual distance. It's really like it can be effective at. The tri-stringer gets partial damage. Um, if only part of it hits, obviously, but that's kind of the same thing with this. The only difference is this hits a lot better closer up and the Tri hits a lot better further out. Two sides of the same coin in a way, huh? Can I suck up a Booyah Bomb? No, I can't. I want to ask you, if, could I suck up a Booyah Bomb? I want to try that out now. That'd be really funny. It's kind of like how Nesk just like pocket like the ultimate like attack from Samus the Bee or, uh, or, or something akin to that. You know what I'm saying? Lucario shuts out his Aura Ball. And it's like, nope. Cool. All right, this team sour is doing really good. We got to push back. All right.
told you. <laughs> Good job. Aves, fantastic job. Oh my god, that was a good one. Okay, yeah, there was someone hidden there. That was a good job there by Lana Pot. Lana Potto? Oh God, I was hoping I could surprise him. It did not. I got a solid hit on him, but that's when he was going up and getting ready to do the Booyah Bomb, so I think he had partial shield. Either way, I got a solid hit, and even if I didn't kill, that was a pretty good hit. Like, if I could have just taken down one or two of them, we might have been able to push back for a few extra points. We wouldn't have won, but you know. That was a very aggressive team for Team Sour. Good job, Team Sour. You guys kicked some butt there. Damn. That was real good. That was real good. So far, I am falling back in love with the tenor brow a lot. <laughs> uh. And I'm also gonna say this: I'm pretty proud of like how well Team Space has been doing. Like I've won near every game already. Like we've won one, two, three, four, then lost one. One, one, two, one, lost one, two, three. Did we lose four? Yeah, we lost four last day. One, two, one. We've we've won more than we've lost so far in Splatfest. Like ignore normal turf war. We've won more than we lost in Splatfest, which I'm pretty I'm pretty pretty chuffed about. By the way, guys, do not forget. I do put out polls for uh, weapons you guys want me to try out. And I'm going to start doing revisitation polls. Like, I've been doing quite a few weapons recently. And because of that, it's like... I've already done so many weapons. I may as well start revisiting some. And you guys seem to really like the opportunity to choose what I play. So I'm going to start doing some, you know, new weapons and some weapons I've already tried out. And what's your opinion on those and which one do you want me to try out again? Um, that's what I'm thinking about doing in the next two, three weeks. That way, you know, we have a few more weapons in there. Try them out. Go for it. Um, gives you the chance to torture me back with weapons that you thought I hated. Like the tri slosher <laughs> Um, but yeah. There's, there's options. I'm gonna try to have a little... I'm gonna have you guys choose the weapons I play in Splatoon a little more often. Nice! Good ink mine placement. Oh, did I miss them? Damn it! This is like the natural enemy to the crab, huh? The crab just shoot, 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 and here I am, like, suck, 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 suck. Oh, wow, okay, that's not the way of saying it. That was like the worst way of saying it. So, okay, so it only burst outwards? That's weird.
I gotta get. <laughs> Pretty chuffed for that, actually. Oh no! I was gonna get up there and start sucking. God, I gotta stop saying that. <laughs> I gotta start putting down my subs too. I, I do forget that. I'm not gonna lie. This is a good. Team Sour here did fantastic. Good job, Team Sour. Good job, Team Sour. You guys did great. I think you kicked our butts there. I do think you did. It's close though. Like, third, 54 of there. 30. Yeah. Actually, actually under. <laughs> Good job, Team Sour. Good job, Team Sour. You guys did great. That mini, that mini was devastating. They were just like, mow y'all down. They did great. They did absolutely fantastic. Good job, that mini. Good job, that mini. 100% good job. Basically Rainmaker. All right, how much time do I have left? I think I got time for one more game. Here's hoping for a times 10 that we'll win. Nah, we're going up against Spicy though. All right, Spicy, give us your best shot, baby. Like, honestly, all these teams have been doing really well. <laughs> like, no, Elijah, you've turned to the dark side. Oh no, my best friend against me. Wow, they are really going at it. I still think Inkwall is going to be the best sub for this weapon. There we go. I think this battle is really showing like literally everything that Tenebrella is good and bad at.
Ah, I got him. Oh my god, this is a. Oh, they're gonna win because they've got a lot more of their own spawn, don't they? This is a violent battle. I love it. I don't know who won this one. Ah! <laughs> Good job, Team Spicy. Once again, that mini splatling is devastating. Ah! Oh, good job, Team Spicy. All right, we did lose three in a row. We, I think we won three, lost three is basically how we went. Or won three, lost four. Not too bad, honestly, in my opinion. Because I'm not deep. But I got some really dope moves in there. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy it. Here's what I'm going to say. If you want to play Tenebrella, you're going to want a lot of Ink Saver. You're going to want a lot of Ink Regeneration. Um, special charge is not a bad idea. Uh, uh, I don't know all the other special moves, but all the other special choices, if I'm being perfectly honest. I know there's a bunch of them, and I don't know a single one of them. So, that's what I'm saying. Ink Saver, Ink Recharge, definitely gonna be your most important ones here. Uh, and all the speeds and what have you. I got a new emote, nice. Uh, so, yeah, honestly, that's about it, really. Uh, thank you guys very much for hanging out with me today. I do sincerely hope you enjoyed I hope you are having a fantastic Splatfest or had a fantastic Splatfest. Uh, I will be back for some tricolor battles soon. Uh, do not worry about that. I'm ready for the tricolor battles. I'm really excited to actually try defending for the first time because I have not defended yet. Actually, believe it or not. I'm really excited to try defending. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for hanging out with me. I do hope you had a fantastic day. And I hope you had a fantastic Splatfest. To whoever won, congratulations for winning. To whoever lost, you guys did great. And we're going to kick ass in the future and hopefully have a lot more fun together. But for now, let's... <laughs> oh my god, it's a really great... Fry. Oh my god, Team Sour. It's so cute. Oh my god, all these are just so cute. Look at that big man. Look at Shiver. Da -da -da -da. Da, 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 da. Anyways, <laughs> y'all stay safe, stay bot is cool, and I will see you soon. Bye everyone. Da, da, da.